these have dried finally. It took about 45 minutes, but they are dry. Um, some of these, right, so these are dry. I picked up a few that I'm using for something else. And now I've actually went ahead and scanned these into my computer because what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to use them to, um, you see, some of these have some colors that I just can't mix. So these are going to be great for color palettes. Um, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I embellish these. And I just play around. I mean, this is, like I said, this is mindless. This is when I don't feel like or I can't think of to do anything, or, you know, like, like today, it's gray, it's not, it's not raining, it's just cold, and I couldn't think of anything else to do. This is a preppy fountain pen, and I bought carbon black ink cartridges. They are waterproof after a little bit, but I'm not really worried about that because I'm drawing over these after they are dry. But you can just doodle and then fill in with watercolor if you let these dry. But this is just a mindless way of adding some fun details to what would otherwise be a very abstract watercolor. And I don't know. It's just what I like to do. It's really fun. I enjoy it. And yeah, see? So all I've done is just add some sketching details to it. And I, you know, when I do these, I this gives me something else to do when I don't have anything else to do. Or can't think of anything. So I paint them all and let them dry. And sometimes I will scan them in. Other times, I will just go right to adding little things to them, like outlining these little like cauliflower, broccoli shapes on the piece everywhere, you know, where the water makes that little cauliflower look. Sometimes I do it that way. And it's fun. It's just another mindless doodle. So if you're tired and you want something, all I'm doing is drawing over the little cauliflower. You can connect them and make them into something. Like this one to me looks like a little girl with crazy little pigtail buns, or, you know, whatever you want. Doesn't have to be anything representational. It's just finding shapes, outline them. Yeah, this is just some of the things that I do with watercolor and playing with color and the amount of water that you put on your brush. And yeah, you can draw on all of these, any of the shapes, and just keep adding, adding to them, turn them into collage, cut them up, put them in a journal, scan them in, print them out, and cut them up and put them in a journal, you know, um, that's just how it can be. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, and um, come back to see me soon. If you like this video, click the like button and let me know what you think and I'll see you soon.